Howdy howdy everyone I am Amit from Mail Smartly Today in this video you will learn couple of methods how you can block a sender in Microsoft Outlook In Outlook blocking and unblocking a sender is a useful feature that allow you to control emails you received from specific individuals or domains whether you want to stop receiving unwanted emails or store communication with the previous blocked sender Outlook provides straightforward options for managing your inbox. So let's dive in and understand how you can block a sender. Simply go to your inbox and select the email you want to block. So I received this email on the regular basis which really caused me trouble. So what I have to do select the email, click right mouse button and you will see an option which is junk. When I hover my mouse over junk I will again get few other options. The first option is block sender. When I click on this option block sender, the email will be removed from my inbox and will be transferred to the junk folder. That means from the next time when I receive the email from the specific sender, the mail will not landed in my inbox and will be delivered in a junk folder. You you have another option to make this happen. which is select the email once again go to the home tab in the delete section you will see an option which is junk when you click on this drop down you will again check out the same options here the first option is block sender again when you click on it the mail will be sent to the junk folder this is the first method and the second method is the rule function so for that again you have to select the email Now you have to click on the home tab in the move section you will see an option which is rules click on the drop down click on create rule so see create rule dialog box appears here outlook is only talking about the current mail you have selected so when i get emails from all of the selected conditions so there are few options here from twitter i have selected the email from twitter subject containing this send to this this is my email address so i have to block the emails received from twitter so i select this option and there is another option do the followings i don't want to do or use these features here i simply jump to the advanced options so that will open the rule wizard dialog box which condition do you want to check the first option is from twitter already selected i don't want to do anything else after selecting apply this rule after the message arrived from twitter which is already added here i have to select next now what do you want to do with the messages there are dozens of options here so i have to select the first one move it to a specific folder when i select on it this is automatically added here now the question is move it to the specific folder here i have to select the specific folder so i have to click on this specific word which again open the rule and alert dialog box and here you have to choose the folder so i am currently working on this email address so i want to choose the folder so i use say spam i use spam folder hit okay and again from twitter move it to the spam folder click on next are there any exemptions I don't think so so I just leave as it is hit next now specific the name of this rule so I name it to block twitter so the step 2 set up rule options first option is rule the run this rule now on messages already on inbox you can select it it's up to you the second option is turn on this rule which is already selected here simply hit finish As soon as you click finish all the emails received from Twitter in your inbox will automatically send it to the spam folder because i have already selected the spam folder here i will show you finish it will take few seconds a moment to send all the emails received from Twitter to the spam see the spam folder is counting and once it's all done you will not get any emails from Twitter from now on The basic phenomena is you will get that emails from Twitter but it will not show you in your inbox. So these are couple of methods that help you to block your specific 
sender in outlook if you have learned something new from this video please like and subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any outlook tips and problem solvers videos i come up with thank you and have a nice day